are facing unique challenges due to COVID-19. 41 NBC's Rashad Van has more on the outlook for institutions, including Fort Valley State University. It's impacting minority institutions a bit harder. John DeSwindo, CEO of HBCU Hub, says after refunding students tuition and fees, many HBCUs are uncertain of what's projected in the fall semester. The president's the administration at HBCUs are well equipped to get over this hurdle. That's not saying it's not going to be difficult. That's not saying um, it may not be some sleepless nights. The transition to online learning has brought additional costs to continue academic courses. Alexander Lowe, Fort Valley State University's SGA president, explained how the changes affect students. Being able to go to online instruction when you originally had in-person instruction, which the in-person setting is the the the, uh, the larger aspect of what makes HBCU so impactful to students. Many HBCUs have few endowments to continue the support of the institutions. Lowe says with that issue, it takes a lot of creativity to keep students enrolled. The larger aspect of how HBCUs are handling it, um, it's, it's a little bit different of a process because you, you can't exactly just reach into um, a support fund. Um, it, it causes a huge sense of creativity to make uh, things that have happened in the past happen currently. During this time, administrators are aiming to improve technology resources for students. We are hoping that during this transition, this is another opportunity for Fort Valley State to improve its, its infrastructure. And I think that's one of the challenges for most HBCUs is having the infrastructure in place. Reporting in Fort Valley, Rashad Van, 41, NBC News. Well, as the pandemic continues, the HBCU Hub will provide resources to universities and colleges to incoming and returning students this fall.